I just received this uh, in the mail today. It's a DIY battery bank where you basically stick in <coughs> um, a battery of your choice, a 18650 battery, and it converts into a USB power bank that you can charge the battery in situ and use it as a, a USB supply. However, none of my batteries fit in this one because they're protected batteries and that makes them just a little bit too long and you can see there's absolutely no way that's going to fit. And that compares slightly unfavourably with this one which will accommodate the protected batteries. Now, protected batteries are different from the normal lithium batteries in that they have an extra little circuit board in the end and you can see where the negative connection is, there's a little gold coloured circuit board. And that is what kind of packs the length of these up a little bit and stops them from fitting in some of the devices like the battery banks. But what you can do is you can actually peel off the outer layer of heat shrink and remove that circuit board and let's try that right now. So I'm going to look round the outside and you'll see under this cover there's a little metal strip going from one end of the battery to the other because the circuit board needs a connection to the positive and negative. So I'm actually going to slip the heat shrink along that. This is where the battery might explode in flames but I don't think it will. So I'm going to carefully just sort of slip down on that little um, strip. Now the reason for protected batteries is that lithium batteries are very fussy about their charging. Um, you can't safely overcharge a lithium battery in the same way you could with a nickel metal hydride. If you exceed about 4.2 volts, there is a risk that these batteries are going to start misbehaving. And likewise, if you over discharge them, below about 2.7 volts is it? It's, it's below 3 volts, but it's uh, not that far below 3 volts. Um, they will be damaged permanently and possibly won't take a proper charge again and could be dangerous to charge again, they could burst into flames. So at the moment I've um, peeled this outer cover off and this, this incidentally it was called ultra fire and really the word fire and pictures of flames is not something you really want to associate with lithium batteries but, but that's what they do. So inside is a common lithium battery unprotected but with this little circuit board added um, on the end and the, the metal strip going up to the other end so I'm going to peel that off and that is just a little cap satin end. I'm going to leave that in place I think although actually having said that under the tape yeah I'll, I'll Maybe leave that in place. I haven't taken one of these particular type batteries to bits, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to find here. I'm going to cut that metal strip. And depending on... Uh, no, this has actually got quite a protruding bit, so I'm just going to peel everything off here. Taking care not to short anything out in case I get lithium unpleasantness. So I'm going to pick off all the sort of tape they put over that so that it can be fitted into the battery holder. That should be alright, I think. And the other end, the little circuit board is just spot welded on to the um, negative terminal of the battery. More Captain Tape. I'll just peel all that Captain Tape off. And I'm just going to Feel that off and snap it, in fact. There we go. So, here's a little circuit board inside. It's quite a lot. It's quite impressive, the circuitry they put in these. Um, it's got a chip to detect the voltage levels to stop the battery being overcharged. What it'll actually do is, if you try overcharging the battery, if it's connected to a, a charger and just left on, as soon as it reaches about 4.2 volts, this little chip will detect that and it will use this little tiny MOSFET package to turn the charging current off. It will basically disconnect the battery. And likewise, when you over discharge it, when it reaches about 2.7 volts, there's another little MOSFET in here that will break the circuit again 
and it'll stop the battery being over discharged. So it's, it's a fairly useful little thing to have. But now I've removed it, the battery is shorter and should be closer to the size it's required to fit in. I'm just going to make sure I got all this tape off because I don't really want a bad connection in there. So I'm just going to scrape all that off. That should be good enough. Now, will it fit in? Yes, it will. Problem solved. I don't know if there's much of a charge in this one or not, so I shall plug something in here. Oh, that looks like a good result to me. So that's basically how you can adapt existing um, protected batteries by removing the circuit board and the cap off the end to make them fit into um, holders that will only accept an unprotected battery. It's worth noting that the name of these batteries, it's quite nice that they chose this terminology. This is an 18650 and that means it's roughly 18 millimeters diameter by 65 millimeters long. So um, that's quite a useful terminology they chose there. And this is a good result. Okay. Oh, I should add, uh, you've removed the protection off this battery, but the protection's already in place on this circuit board in, in here, so it doesn't actually require a protected battery. In fact, it kind of sometimes interferes with the, the operation of some of the charge detectors. Um, so, yep, that's a good result again.